first things first, that angle at the end. I will say this, okay? I thought the angle was actually quite great. I thought it was a good heat angle. I was dying watching Tony sell. Okay. <laughs> you know, when we when we talk about we watch these NXT shows and I did this for a long time and I can I can tell you that one of the hardest things to learn in wrestling is how to sell. Anybody can go, ah, but like selling, that's that's the key to all of wrestling. You you can't really have wrestling without selling. You could try. Registering is not selling. Okay. So the first thing that happens to this guy is he he's he gets booted or punched or whatever. Or he gets hit in the in the gut with a microphone. Yes. Okay. When he got hit in the gut, that's right here with the microphone, and he took a back bump. It was off to the races, brother. It's off to the races. Oh man. You get hit in the gut, you double over, right? Has Tony never got hit in the gut before? So he gets hit in the gut, but he goes backwards. Yes. That doesn't even make any sense. Well. So then he goes down, and uh, you know the young bucks, they they set him up for the, the trigger. But Okada says no, no. And then he goes like this. That means take him up. And so they, uh, Matt Jackson hoists this guy up. Nick goes up to the top. They hit him with the Tony Khan driver. You have never seen Matt Jackson protect a guy more <laughs> than he protected Tony Khan with this driver here. And, uh, and man, hey, listen, what a reaction this got. These fans were going nuts. And then the best part of the show, I don't care what anybody says, the best part of the show was when everybody hits the ring to help Tony and they cut to Shad Khan. Big Shad. Brother. He wasn't happy. Let me make this abundantly clear. I do not need to see Tony Khan as an on-screen character. No. Okay? I do not need to see him as an on-screen character. If this Shad Khan can cut a promo, <laughs> I am all in. This guy has the greatest face. He looked he so angry. <laughs> like, if I would have been in the ring as one of the heels, I'd have run. I'll sell for Shad Khan. I got no problem. That guy looks like a 70s heel. <laughs> he, oh my God. I am not entirely sure that he knew that this was happening. I think it's a possibility he thought that his, his son had been badly injured. Because, man, he was mad. And uh, that, like, made the whole thing for me. I mean, had Shad Khan not been there, maybe I would have thought the whole thing was terrible. But no, I actually did think that it was a great angle. And now, hey, you know what we have? We have intrigue. We have Tony Khan killed by the EVPs. <laughs> All right. Well, now we got something here. And Jungle Boy, Jack Perry is back. We got a, uh, a quartet here. Okada, the greatest prick heel. Jack Perry, the scapegoat, and the Young Bucks, the trolls, all together in a heel group. And uh, and next week, next week, they're in Winnipeg, and there is an appearance from Kenny Omega. Okay? Now, listen, anything's possible, okay? Anything's possible. But I do believe, I do very much believe that he is probably going to get surgery for his diverticulitis. So I don't think that people should expect, like, he's going to make a surprise return and run wild and hit V-triggers everywhere and challenge Okada or anything like that. I mean, he's, he's probably going to get killed too. So, um, but what are they going to do? What's going on with Kenny? What's going on with Tony? Yeah. I believe that Tony actually is doing the draft in a neck brace today. He better. Yeah. So uh, that was the main angle. That was the main event angle. And uh, we'll see what the follow-up is because you shoot any angle you want, but the follow-up is obviously what's most important. But I thought for an angle itself, if you're going to, hey, listen, if you're going to bring Tony Khan on TV for something, this was it. Called on to uh, reinstate Jungle Boy, and he gets murdered 
by Jungle Boy and the Elite. And that's it for him. So much to talk about with all of this stuff going on. I want to see how NFL Films follows up all of this stuff since they're following Tony and Shad, at least Tony, when it comes to the NFL draft, which begins tonight. Jack Perry out there smirking like CM Punk. I know, hey, a smirk is a smirk no matter whose face is on, but boy, that going into Tony's office, they didn't knock. They made sure not to knock, and then they all strolled on in there. So there has been a lot of playing to CM Punk. Tony Khan, by airing the footage, decided to jump with both feet all into that. That's what this whole angle, a lot of that is playing into this. I think part of Chris Jericho is playing into that as well, too, with his learning tree and trying to help the youth and trying to get them to listen to him and all that sort of stuff. I think they're going double feet into it, and... Will it work out or not? I don't know. Was the angle kind of cheesy? Have we seen it before that angle last night to end the show? Absolutely, we have. Did they put a little twist on it with Shad going out there? Yes, they did. Have we seen that in quite some time? No, we have not. So we'll see if it works for them. Can't judge the whole thing yet. And I thought it was a really up and down show last night, but they're getting whether it be jokes or memes or people who are r lining up right behind them, they're getting reaction to that show. So let's see how it does in the ratings. Those should come out later on today, and we'll see what the interest is like going into next week's show. But uh, they certainly absolutely have people talking. Now, I will say that they did announce today that Swerve will do his first interview as champion on Saturday. That was one of the down parts of last week. Well, week, I got to bring think. this up because there's there's a very important thing I want to say here. So, Tony believed that there was a lot of bad faith criticism for people that said, how come Swerve, his first appearance as champion, he's just doing a match? Like, there's no celebration, there's no promo, there's nothing. On a show where Willow got a celebration. And he believed this was bad faith criticism. But I actually disagree. So because here's the thing. If when Swerve came out, the announcers made clear, you put a graphic on the screen, that his first live interview is coming up on Saturday night on Collision, fine. Then it's a bad faith criticism. We didn't know that. All we knew is that Swerve won the title, and his very first appearance is working the opener of Dynamite in a match against a guy who lost on Saturday... In a title eliminator, and he wins, and we move on with the show. And the IWGP title's on top. Yes. So we'll, we'll talk more about this after the break. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Oh, man, every time I see that <laughs> segment during the break. Uh, that was the first Frankensteiner I ever did. It was perfect. And that lady walked right in front of the shot the moment it happened. <laughs> God. Anyway, following up on what I said before the break, Yes. So, yes, Tony is, is putting the interview on Saturday, and it's going to open Collision, okay? Because the idea is they're they're following the um, NBA uh, playoffs. Yes. Coverage of the playoffs. And so they're going to have a gigantic lead-in for Collision. And so he figures we'll capitalize on that by putting our new champion on TV in, a, in an interview segment, promo segment. It's a nice twist so that's, after getting some response, I Well, guess. I mean... Listen, for all I know, that was his plan going in. But my point is, I don't care what your plan is. We don't know your plan. All we exactly. know is the show open with the new champion doing a match with whoever. What did what did uh, Callis call him? What, Kyle Fletcher? Actually, he didn't call him anything. He just said, I don't think you need to be talking about losing. Oh, well. But anyway... Like, that's it. That's all we knew. So it's not bad faith. It's a legitimate question. Now we know the answer. But it would have been better to give us the answer when the guy's coming down to the ring, put a graphic on the screen, this Saturday, swerve, celebration, whatever. Because we didn't know that at the time. Well, whatever. You didn't. It didn't have to be that way. It didn't have to be that way. And you should have announced that before yesterday's show, that you're going to see Swerve wrestle, but we're going to have a whole ceremony set up. Hopefully Kyle Fletcher doesn't ruin it tonight by taking some of the steam out of it by beating Swerve. You could have done it that way. But in hindsight, you opened the show with Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Tramperetta. That didn't need to open the show. 
I'm sorry. And I like Orange Cast. I don't have any animus against those guys whatsoever, but that's not how you should have started that show. You should have started it with Swerve Strickland. You could have started it with a cold Moxley promo, which then led into Swerve Strickland, at least saying something before going out there, talking some trash about what he's going to do to Kyle Fletcher instead of Don Callis just taking all the air out of the room by hyping up Kyle Fletcher. It, to me, it was just, with the way the whole night went with the IWGP world title and John Moxley looking as important as he did, that Swerve-Kyle Fletcher match was really fun. It was really good. But why was Fletcher even the opponent for that match? You know, to me, I would have put somebody in there, again, who would have been impressive against to Swerve, but have Swerve beat him quicker. That was your world champion. You just crowned him. Give him some time to talk, even if it's a short promo, and then let him go out there and maybe be in a tiny bit of peril. But don't go 50-50 with a guy like Kyle Fletcher. Go out there, give him a lot more, and dominate and show why he's the world champion. I think in hindsight, that whole thing, the way they started it, was no bueno to me. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.